so I like had issues like just and like when I was in Buffalo I had like you know I had I was doing cognitive um occupational and um it was occupational physical and um cognitive therapy I was doing all three of those like three times a week but then I like I was in Buffalo and it was snowing because this was in like November, December. And I was like, I was so miserable because like the snow and the cold weather like makes me so like makes me sad and depressed. And I was mm-hmm. already depressed and I'd wake up literally every day and I was like, I want to end my life. Wow. That's rough. So how did you how did you get through that? Um, I had to like get the fuck out of Buffalo. Like it was hard. Like I was just like I wanted because it was like it was lonely too it was like i was in buffalo and like i grew up sorry it was okay like i grew up there but i wouldn't but i didn't really have like that many friends out there and the ones that i did have like i you know like snow and work and stuff like that so i wasn't able to see anyone so it was like my mom worked full time so i was like by myself like not being able to do anything and like cooking was fucking awful like i was like so i love cooking but like I remember, like, trying to, like, cook eggs or something like that before I was vegan or I was vegetarian. So I was, like, trying to cook eggs and, like, I was putting oil in a pan and, like, seeing the little popping would, like, fucking terrified me. Like, I was scared to cook and I was, like, I couldn't do anything on my own and I couldn't, like, walk on my own because I had, like, right side weakness from, like, the crash. So I had to, like, have someone to help me walk and I was, like, this is awful. So I just wanted to fucking kill myself every fucking day. I was like, this is awful. And then I was like, I need to get to L.A. Because, like, my whole thing was, like, I was going to, like, move to L.A. I was I already, like, sent all my, my belongings to my friend in Hollywood, in West Hollywood. And, like, I was, like, so all of my stuff was there. I had nothing. I had I had nothing with me except a suitcase. You know, I had no clothing, no nothing, especially for a winter. Um, I was going to leave. I was going to move there, like, right after Exotica. I was going to move there, like, in, like, late November like for Thanksgiving I was gonna be there for Thanksgiving and like so I had literally nothing so I had like I was like I need to get to LA I need to get LA but the thing that sucks about LA is because um my like all the um all the like physical therapy and whatnot all the therapy I had was like covered through no jersey no fault because it wasn't my fault so all my like so like all of my like my therapy and stuff was that was covered in jersey but like the moment I moved to California I didn't get that. So yeah. I literally had to get better on my own once I came out here. It's fucking the hardest thing ever. And like, yeah, wow. it's hard. So I like, but being in California, like the sunshine and warm weather, I was like, yeah. that like helped me a bunch. And I had like, a, I have a support system out here. So yeah. Yeah. So that helped. But yeah. I mean, did you, I mean, especially when you were first trying to recover on your own um, on the East Coast, did you, did you not have a clear prognosis of how you were going to be? Like, did you not know if you're going to fully recover? No, like my um, the uh, neurologist, like he told me that, like, because I was like, yeah, I'm going to try to move. Like January 10th is the day I was supposed to. Like, I bought the ticket or thing. Like, or, my mom bought me the ticket to go out there. Ticket was bought somehow from when I got to LA, and um, like my my neurologist was like, there's no way you're going to be. There's no way you're going to be able to do this. I was like, fucking watch me. So I like, you know, I like made sure myself was better. My dad like bought me like a little Game Boy to like help with my cognitive one hour. So like he bought me little games and stuff like that. I don't know where it went. It's got lost somehow in one of the moves that I've had. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, yeah, like I, I remember like in December, I went back a month later and he's like, he's like, you've made incredible progress. I was like, wow, thank you. Yeah, I'm fucking determined. I'm yeah. super determined. If I like want something, I do it. So. And that's so important yeah. for recovery. Yeah. I, um, <clears throat> my dad is 81 and has Parkinson's and he's, his health has been declining. I mean, we had to cancel the podcast yeah. last yeah. week because he, um, fell and split his head open. I mean, I sent you a photo. Yeah. So when you saw, I was like, oh my God. I was like, you're like, I'm so sorry. I was like, no, don't be sorry. It's yeah. okay. Like, it, handle your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was intense. And, you know, he's just not been the same since he's gotten back from the hospital. Before that, that was his second trip to the hospital, actually, third trip to the hospital this year. But Shit. he had been in the hospital for like three weeks before that with pneumonia and sepsis. And, yeah, he's got like, same thing occupational therapist, uh, physical therapist, like, three times a week mm. um he is pretty much wheelchair bound he can walk with a walker but someone needs to be there in case he like gets dizzy mm. but you know my concern with him 
is that, well, first of all, he's older, you know, so obviously recovery is not yeah. the same, but he doesn't have that, that determination that you have, yeah. you know, like he, he's kind of, I think, given up a little bit. Oh, that sucks. You know, and I know that that has so much to do with your recovery and that's what's oh, like. Oh yeah, absolutely. 